Salutations, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, the Lord of the Rings Realms in Exile mod. I'm Lord Front. We smash Sauron. Sauron is not destroyed, but immensely, immensely weakened. Um, our new goal is to have our ruler die, which sounds strange, but we need the heir's ability to declare a holy war for Moria. So that we can create the Misty Mountains title, so that we can complete the Unify Durin's Folk. Although we'll have to control 90% of them, which is going to be a problem. This count as being in Moria? No, it does not. So we should be able to maintain some of these. Then we can smash our way further south, hopefully. Um, and then, what do we call it there? A little bit odd that there's, obviously, there's no way in here um, that none of these have unified. And these are all the wilderness ones still. Huh. At some point, our ruler will get stressed out enough he dies, so. We attempt to have him, have him kill himself, but it didn't work. And that was just for expediency here. <sighs> We're never going to fill the upgrade error bar, are we? It's just going to take too long. No matter how much time and effort we invested in it. Still taking an age to do. We might hit 80 development, though. Ironically, the next the next highest development is Dale. <laughs> because of all the spread from my capital. But it's starting to spread out from here fairly quickly. I mean, this is 31 development. These are 16s and 10s. That's... Compared to some of this land... Oh, actually, this land's pretty well developed, too. In fact, Legolas's lands are getting developed due to the fact that I am so overly developed. Because he's only 33. Where are Legolas, though? I don't know. What's the matter, Legolas? It's like he doesn't want to upgrade his lands. It's weird. All the other territories around him are upgraded, but not his capital. It's, it's weird. While we wait for our ruler to get stressed out, let's build some cities. Of course, we can't use... Dwarves can't use cities, really, at all, but... <laughs> for the sake of repopulating the whole north... Oh, build temples, because it's a... Human. Interesting. Wish our ruler wasn't having so much trouble with eating that he gets malnourished every other day. I keep thinking something's gone terribly wrong when that happens, but no. Just your standard over-ping again. How much money can I spend? I don't even think I'm keeping up with the uh, the rate of growth of money at this point. I'm running out of places to build. I'll bother. I lowered our stress. The 
The Temple of the Dead Marshes. There we go. What else can I upgrade? Most of these are already upgraded. Oh, those elves are still slowly upgrading their lands. They're elves, so they're a bit slow at building, I guess. Okay, let's see if we can get rid of this guy again. Just trying to get rid of my ruler. <laughs> Let me get rid of him already. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I really should just be upgrading the Dwarven provinces rather than building all these new ones. Ooh, can I up his stress? He's getting there. We just need a ring event now or somebody close to him to die. Pretty kind of evil of me to be scheming against my own character. I'm just trying to find out any way possible I can think of to get around the fact that I can't kill the Balrog. It'd be nice if the orcs kept fighting the Balrog. Or goblins. Yeah, goblins. Be nice if they could keep fighting each other. I wonder how my dwarven subjects are doing. They don't really have a lot of land or a lot of power. There we go. Oh bother. Good. He died. Sad but wonderful. So now we have a queen on the throne. Moria, here we come. Uh, though apparently I have far too much, far too many provinces in my domain. Eh, shouldn't cost to be of an issue. Moria, Holy War, Four Kingdom. I do not have enough piety. Okay, pilgrimage. Pilgrimage, pilgrimage, pilgrimage. Pious pilgrimage to... We can go to Dimmerald Dale. We'll go to the Chamber of Awakening. This is all just to get the piety so that I can finally... End all this. And the division of the dwarf. The Durin's folk reunify them. Although it's kind of odd that we couldn't reunify them in Erebor. But I guess controlling Moria would be a better ending place. She's actually a really good fighter. Be funny if I do the Balrog event with her and she actually kills the Balrog. That would be hilarious. She just doesn't like me. Okay.
Oh, I should... should try and get this guy to... I know he's of my faith. That's odd. Huh. They're just not converting that land. To need to fix. Yeah. There's always more to the fix, isn't there? Okay, let's get this over with. We visited Gundabad. Good. We've walked the holy path. We need a thousand more. We gain 2.18 a month. Hmm. Eight hundred more. Seven hundred more or so. Oh, she no, almost no more. Because we just got 500 there. We should be good. By the time you get back, she gets back home, we should be ready to start this war, basically. Especially if we get another piety event. That would be amazing. As long as she doesn't die of ring stress. A reshaped mountainside. Hey, that's me when I play Minecraft. Reshaping entire landscapes. Okay, that should be seven more. Come on, game. We're almost back. on we have to, we're literally right on the end edge now next month okay we got this okay now saving just to make sure i don't even know how to say her last name or her name dol dolg thurasir that's a mouthful Okay, Holy War for Moria. Okay, this is going to be interesting. He doesn't have a lot of troops, so I think I'll just use men at arms. I don't think we're going to need the uh, levies. Although, to be fair, if I was, if the Balrog was an actual like unit on the map, I do think send as many as you can would make a difference. What the? What? Why are you attacking me? That's just bizarre. I guess he has backup, which is why he's doing it, but... Seems a little ambitious on his part, doesn't it? Seems suicidally ambitious. So hard to tell where the actual provinces are here.
He loses to my levies, which is convenient. Oh, apparently we just lost some sieges. No point in fighting that guy any further. Oh, Free 900 gold. Would have been a nice about 20 episodes earlier. I love how we can't colonize Moria, but we can march an army through it with no one caring. The Balrog doesn't care if you invade it and conquer it. He only cares if you own it. Okay, here we go. The vastness of Moria. Stop. Pause. Everything. Okay. Create that. Okay. That's done. You complete this. I need to become... Oh, we're not going to be able to do it, are we? Oh, bother. Not unless these guys are willing to become vassals, which does not appear to be the case. Although apparently I can just colonize most of it. Hmm. I need to become a living legend. Grand tournament, maybe? It's all unsuitable terrain. Horse race, followed by board game, followed by duel, followed by wrestling, followed by a recital. Continue. We want to make this as prestigious as possible. Start Grand Tournament. Um, hmm. That's not helping. Um, can we change focus? I don't think we can yet. Too soon. Obviously, we're going to have trouble with... Oh, I don't want to murder somebody. Stop murdering people. Okay, tournament is open. Now, I'm not giving away these provinces because the AI is almost inevitably going to lose to the, the the Balrog. And if it does, it'll get rid of it. But anyway, those are the unique buildings here. Not that I can interact with them at all, really. Fine. 
no way to win. So obviously breaks the rules. Such so skills belong on a battlefield now. Nah. Prestige, please. Extra pay if they win. Oh, cool. Technically, we triumphed. Our person succeeded. Oh, and we're going to qualify for a board game event. Oh, got to play this again. There we go. 750. It's getting us closer to the ends. We need to become a living legend, though. Mm -hmm. 2,000 there, and then I think another 5,000. Negative 15 gold a month for this thing, but the amount of prestige you gain. We must retreat. Okay, so... We've run away, which means we have an empty province we've got to find and recolonize, I think. Oh, we didn't lose it? That's interesting. Huh. Okay. Uh, we gotta fight. It. We gotta compete in this again. Okay, we got the judge to believe they were cheating, and we won the board game. Oh, nice! Because apparently dwarves play chess. Cheating our way through. Yeah, we're dwarves. Becoming a dwarf. Oh, looks like we lost. Tyrannical ones. Confounded. Oh well, that's fine. Okay, we need to lower stress. Oh, we can't because we're in a tournament. Okay, um. Till 1,700. Oh, wait. I should try and lower stress. There we go. Okay, looks like our champion won. Oh, not my favorite knight. Ah, oh, well. Okay. Oh, we don't get any of that prestige. Ah. Can't change from that yet. Where the... How am I going to get more prestige? Hmm. Prestige. Normally I don't need prestige, so when I do actually need prestige, it's kind of weird. care about qualifying things. I just want prestige. Oh. 
good. We've learned what standing armies are. Slowly losing money due to owning so much land. Oh well, slowly losing money is the only way to describe how little land we're actually losing. Sure, we'll attempt to do a recital. think we succeeded or maybe we did oh we actually won we're almost exalted among men and we've won the prize scepter and now all we need to do is get 14,000 more prestige ay 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 Oh, a war, maybe? Oh, anyway, that'll be next episode. We're almost there, everyone. See you guys next time. Bye for now.